Now, I like Big Bubble Nikes as much as the next guy, but does the price justify getting these? We're gonna find out today. Hey guys, welcome back to Kicks Reasons channel, and today we're looking at the Nikes Air Max Scorpion Flyknit. And right away, this is a shoe that retails at $250. So $250 plus tax for me, that will equal about $270 some dollars. That's almost $300 for a pair of sneakers. Uh, and I mentioned in my previous video, I don't know where this trend is going with all the new models uh, peaking over $250, touching $300 and over. But this is definitely not somewhere I want to go. There's a lot of things to be said about this model. Obviously, my main attraction here was the massive giant air bubble or kind of a air cushion this, this whole shoe is sitting on top of. I mean, we've seen some uh, giant Air Max bubbles in the past, but this one probably takes the lead. It's just absolutely massive and it looks like the whole shoe is riding on a pillow. And we're gonna get to the close-ups and talk about it in details, but a few other things I wanted to say. Obviously, I didn't pay $250. I finally waited for them to go on sale, so I paid $110. Uh, still, I feel that was too much. Again, you know me, I'd like to pay under $100 if possible. Uh, if I see any of these peeping in anywhere in the Nike outlet stores or factory stores, I'm definitely gonna get probably another pair, maybe a different colorway. But uh, this kind of a green and gray fly knit, I really like this colorway. Uh, the moment it came out, uh, especially looking at the outsole, it's so bright. And I was extremely curious to see where is the Air Max culture going because, you know, in the last couple of years, we really don't have a specific Air Max flagship model, what I used to call, or they, Nike used to call, uh, back in the day when we have Air Max 93, 94, 95, 96, and so on and so forth. I think the last Air Max we had was that was the flagship dedicated Air Max model was 2018, 2019. I, I forgot, it's been a while. But now we have these kind of models, uh, and this is what they call the Scorpion. We have an upper that it's entirely done in fly knit, which again, is a, is a knit, it's nothing super expensive. There's no reason to be that expensive, there's no reason to be uh, so hyped, it's just fabric that it's needed. There's no overlays, there's no underlays, there's no genuine leather, there's no expensive materials used here. Probably the most expensive uh, thing is when for the molding, and for this massive air unit, and if I flip it around, you're gonna see how the unit is situated uh, all around. So that's why the base is so wide, uh, obviously for stability issues, because you're riding so high off the ground, you don't want to be twisting your ankle or anything like that. Um, the solid rubber is in this tiny little portion on the hill and right in the front, which uh, I have slight concerns. Hopefully uh, these side panels not gonna grind if you are uh, walking funny uh, like myself. Uh, but uh, when it comes to comfort, yeah, I mean, they, I think they're comfortable. To me, you're riding on top of uh, a cloud. Uh, yeah, it's not very stable. And if you're older like me and you are kind of value stability a little bit more, wearing these for a long period of time, you're probably gonna have issues. You're probably gonna uh, see some fatigue and uh, your ankle's gonna be killing you. Uh, but they're pretty impressive, you know, on feet and looking at them, uh, they're something unusual, something different and something with the massive air unit which again prompts me to the question, why is Nike not bringing the OG style or OG size air units in all the retros? This is gonna be forever a mystery to me because if they're able to do this giant thing right here on the Scorpion, why not in the original models? But again, this is what they decided. We have a tiny swoosh right in the front where the toe lip is uh, uh, slightly reinforced, which is great. And uh, we have knitted swoosh on the sides as well. And we have Max on the back on the pull tab done in this kind of a, a braille style, uh, which I really, really like. We have a small pillow on the hill uh, for added comfort. And if I pull the insole out, the insole is very nice, which I really, really like these kind of uh, insoles. D these are the DuraPoint Tex insoles, which are polylite, very nice and thick. You can pull these out and you can actually wash them uh, and kind of refresh them. So you're not gonna have any uh, issues with the funk. I prefer these uh, instead of anything else, honestly. These are produced in October of 22, so exactly one year from now. Uh, you know, see how long it took uh, to get them on sale and, and finally buy them because 250, definitely not paying for that. The, the air unit is so impressive and so crazy done because you can actually poke your finger underneath your foot and kind of meet almost the other side if you have small fingers, obviously. Uh, you can touch the foam that it's above the air unit. 
Uh, there's a lot of cues around. It says Air Max again in kind of a braille style. On the uh, medial side, there's a swoosh in the back. Uh, there's nothing on the lateral side and just a tiny switch on the front. Uh, these come with a two set of laces. We have these gray ones already uh, ran through the lace loops, which are not actual lace loops, but fly wire. And we have these kind of a black or darker gray rope laces as well. You know, one of my biggest issues here with this model is, I mean, look at the, look at the box these, these are coming in. This is, this is just a recycled, like these are the boxes that they, Nike used to give you to return uh your merchandise the, normally there used to be the actual box inside and this will be the outer shell so if you have issues with it you can return it now they just omit the actual box they're giving you this one that you just can rip um, the label is right on the side you know with the model and the sizing and your address is just stuck in here all that is just I mean, you're paying $250, you, Nike, you're telling me you can't afford to actually give us uh, a nice box uh, to fit the profile of these shoes that are costing so much. So, I mean, this is what it is. This is a recycled paper. What, because you're very friendly for the environment now all of a sudden? Come on. I mean, $250 and we, we can't even get a real box like normal people. I mean, the shoes are nice. Uh, I really like them. They are unique. They're crazy. Uh, not as ugly as the ISPA you guys seen. These definitely have some nice life into them. I like everything they've done here. All the Air Max uh, wording or writing all over the shoe is in kind of a braille style. Definitely a shoe that speaks uh, volumes and is a speaking quality. But again, 250, I don't think so. Crazy box that doesn't match the shoe. Again, I don't think so. Uh, there are some other colorways of this model as well, but this green one is definitely uh, my favorite. Kind of reminds me of the colorways from the 90s as well. Uh, that's why I decided to went with it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, please don't go out there and spend uh, 250 plus for models like that. Wait for them to go on sale. That's gonna speak volumes to Nike and eventually they're gonna start bringing the prices down because this is just getting out of control. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe for more videos. There are a lot more coming. I promise you there's a tons of models I'm gonna be reviewing very soon. And as always guys, you have a wonderful day.